All right, so what I've got here is a vacuum pump and a gauge set. I'm gonna go ahead and take this cover off here, maybe, if I can. The other two were super loose, so that one was tighter. I've got my line going to my gauge set that has my 410A adapter on it, and I'm gonna go ahead and place that on my valve here. Bought this on Amazon. Actually, all of these tools here I bought on Amazon, and I'll go ahead and put the, uh, the link in the description and everything so you guys can pick those up if you need them. Then I've got one side of the yellow hose going to my pump. And I'm going to run the other side of it up to my manifold set here. And I'm going to snug it down with a pair of pliers. I'm not Hulk torquing it here, just kind of getting it snug so that there's no leaks or anything. And then I'm going to go ahead and start pumping down the system. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to turn on my pump. And then I'm going to open this side of the manifold gauge set. And you should start to see this going from zero to negative pressure. If I can. Hang that right here so you guys can see it. But you see, we're already getting pretty low on the pressure there. I'm going to let this run for about a half an hour. While I'm letting that vacuum pump run, I'm going to go ahead and just finish buttoning up the uh, wiring here on it. After that, all I've got to do is uh, check my pump, make sure we're not losing negative pressure, and then open the line set. All right, then. I've probably been letting this run for about 30 or 45 minutes. You can see we've got negative 30 inches of uh, PSI here. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and close my valve over here. I'm going to go ahead and turn off my vacuum pump and I'm going to let this sit. You can let this sit for 30 minutes, an hour, two hours, a day, however long you want to let this sit for um, just to see if this PSI starts to climb back up because that will indicate whether you have a leak or not. If it remains where it is, no leak. If it starts to climb back up, you've got a leak. So I'm going to leave that alone for a bit and... Uh, come back and check it a little later on. Actually, I can see already that I've got a leak. Because you can see as I'm tapping, the gauge is moving. So I'm gonna give that like 10 minutes. If I've really got a leak that fast, it will, uh, it'll drop to zero pretty quickly. Actually, I didn't have this connection very tight. I just realized that that's kind of loose. So that's another thing to be sure of is that you've got all your connections nice and tight because if those are loose, you're definitely going to have some leak down. Um, this connection seems a little loose too. Well, that would definitely do it. So I'm going to start with making sure all my connections are snug. I don't know how I left them loose, but apparently I did. Even this one's a little not so tight. Look at that. Okay, so that's the first place to start is make sure your connections are snug. I'm going to start with that. And then I'm going to let it run for another half an hour since apparently I let it leak through the connections. Okay, so after snugging down all my connections... I pumped it back down just for a couple minutes and then turned everything back off. And uh, it seems to be holding pressure now. So I'm gonna give this just a few minutes, give it like 10 minutes or so, see if it leaks down at all. And then if not, I'm gonna go ahead and pump it, pump it down a little more. So it's only been about five minutes and as you can see, it's gone down by about 10 PSI, 12 PSI-ish. So that means we still definitely have a leak in the system. So the first thing I'm gonna do is try to snug up my connections just a hair, 
pump it back down a little bit more and see if that made a difference. I don't want to over torque these things too much though, so I'm not going to do that too much. My next step would be to try to undo the connections, put a little more nylog on there, and then tighten it down again to the proper torque specs. All right, everybody. So what I did was I went back and added a little more nylog, retorqued everything, and then asked my neighbor to come over and take a look because he's done some HVAC. And what was happening is that a leak right here. So don't rule out your equipment because your equipment could be leaking down as well, and that might be your problem. So at this point, I am ready to open up these valves and uh, get this thing in service. All right, so I'm going to open up this side first. Open it all the way. Same here. And replace your caps. And place your cover back on. So now we're pretty much good to go. I'm just going to go flip the breaker and uh, see what happens. See if we've got power. Everyone, if you enjoyed today's video, I would invite you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below right there on the right hand corner. And if you felt that the products in today's video is something you might like to own yourself, there's a product link right up there to the right, upper right hand corner, or down in the description will be a product link for you to purchase the product as well. Thank you very much for watching YouTube.